Hi folks, uh, I set myself a little gaming challenge um, to see in an hour if I could uh, make um, a Duck Hunt style game. Um, so it's a bit quick and dirty, there's not a whole lot of mechanics going on here, uh, but it would be very useful to do uh, as a mock-up perhaps for a proof of concept. Um, so we've got our sprites that are ripped from the, um, from the Duck Hunt game and uh, I'll just Gonna go through what we have here. So we've got the we've got the background. Uh, we've got a game manager with a script attached and a couple of the sound effects. Um, we've got a score text, which is here. I guess just a just a piece of text. Uh, nothing fancy about it. Um, and we have a uh, win text, which is just a graphic. I downloaded it off um, the internet just to say you win. Okay, so uh, going into the code, we've got the game manager. So we've got our standard stuff. So we've got uh, the game object, uh, which is the target, and I, I just call it target. It should have been called duck or something like that. Call the target. We've got the audio clips here. So we've got duck quack. Um, so we've got the quack and the duck. Uh, we've got a nice little audio clip that plays whenever you win. Uh, we've got the score text there, and we've got uh, the win text, which is actually the uh, image that will appear. We've got the condition of win, which is set to false at the start, and we've got the score set to zero. So uh, with the start function, I'm invoking the uh, the uh, function uh, spawn. I should say method. I'm saying function because I've just completed a course in JavaScript. Uh, so we've got the two random ver uh, variables for x and y. So we've got uh, negative 7 and 7 um, and negative 3.5 and 3.5 um, and then we can calculate their random position using their uh, vector 3. We don't need to worry about the z-axis because it's 2D. Um, and then we spawn the duck and there's no rotation so we've got the quaternion dot identity. Uh, feature on there. So we instantiate using the target, which is the dock, uh, the random position given in those coordinates, uh, and we don't need a rotation. And then I play the audio clip, um, so it's a little duck quack, comes from the, the duck hunt game. Again, I got that off the internet, and it's played at the position of the object whenever it spawns. There's other things you can do, you can spawn it, you, you know, if you do 3D stuff, uh, you can spawn it at the camera, and things like that. Um, so then we have the, the target. So this is this should be called duck. It's a terrible meme convention, but it was very quick and dirty. Um, so what I've got here is that I needed to I needed to be able to increment the score whenever the um, whenever the duck shot. So we've got a little function here. Um, increment score. So it increments the score by ten. Uh, prints the score. I've just stuck that there it was just a for a console test uh, and then we go to the score text dot text function and we fire that out onto the screen the win condition is if it's uh, greater than or equal to 200 win condition uh, the win condition is true so therefore we play a little effect and we um, set the the un graphic uh, to active um, so in order for me to do that i had to uh, create a little handle here to um, the game manager. So this is just a, a quick way of doing it. So game object, object dot find game manager. So it goes to uh, the hierarchy of Unity, finds the game manager object, and gets the component that we need. Um, and then go, we can use then on mouse down whenever um, we shoot. We've got the little gunshot sound. It increments the score and it destroys the game object. I've all, I'm also automatically destroying the game object here on the. Uh, start method uh, every um, I think it's every couple of seconds here so that uh, so that the screen doesn't become overrun so I'll just show you how this plays I'll go maximize on play give it a wee play here And it's pretty much as simple as that. Uh, so that's how far I've got in an hour. 
So hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, I might upload this game to Safari. Uh, if anybody wants to play it, they, they can. There's not much there. Um, maybe another couple of hours work and it could be a fairly decent game with a, with a lose condition as well. Uh, so that was just a little challenge to set myself. So hope you enjoy the video.